write a C++ program to implement the concept of stack with push, pop, peak and display operation. Push operation is used to insert a new element into the stack and pop is used to delete an element from the stack. And peak is used to display the top element from the stack. Stack data structure works with the concept of LIFO, last in, first out. That means element which is entered last will get deleted first. So in order to create the stack data structure, we are creating a class which is named as stack. Max is the maximum element that can be stored in the stack and top points to the top element of the stack. In order to store the element, we are creating a pointer variable star list. We are writing a constructor for initializing the data members details. The constructor takes the parameter, which is a stack size. So if user specify a stack size, which is less than zero, so we cannot be able to create a stack with less than or equal to zero size. So we take the default size of the stack as 10. So we change the value of stack size variable as 10. After that, the stack size value is initialized into the variable max. So max points, the maximum size of the stack. Top is initialized as minus one. When the stack is empty, top will points to minus one. Initially, top is pointing to minus one. List is created by using new keyword. It will be capable of storing max number of values. So all the location of the list element are initialized as null because the stack is empty initially. So from zero to max minus one, list of i is initialized as null. We write a destructor to deallocate the memory which is allocated for the variable list. So we write delete of list. So the pointer variable list will get deleted. After that, we are writing first method for the stack, which is named as is empty, which is used to check whether the stack is empty or not. We can check whether a stack is empty or not by looking at the value of the variable top. If top is pointing to minus one, that means the stack is empty. So we return when top is equal to minus one. So if it is minus one, it returns true, otherwise it return false. Next method is is full, which returns a Boolean value. So when the value of top reaches to max minus one, we can say that the stack is full. So if top is equal to max minus one, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Next method is push, which is used to insert a new element into the stack. It takes a parameter, which is a new data that need to be inserted into the stack. So 
So while we are pushing a new data into the stack, we have to check whether the stack is having enough free space or not. So we check whether the stack is already full by calling the method is full. If the stack is full, the condition is generally named as stack overflow because the stack is already full. If it is not full in the else part, we store the value of the new item by increasing the value of the top by one. So top will be increased by one and at the new place of the top, we store the new item in the list. So top is increased by one at the, at the new top, we store the new item. Pop operation is used to remove an element from the stack In order to remove an element from the stack, we have to decrease the value of top by one. So before we are going to delete an element, we have to check whether the stack contains some element. So we check whether the stack is empty. If we can't be able to delete an element. So we display that the stack is under flow. Else the value of top will be decreased by one. So during the push operations, the top value is increased by one at the new place, new item has been added. And during the pop operations, the value of top is decreased by one. Peak operation is used to display the value which is there at the top place. So before we are displaying, we check whether the stack is empty. Then it is, if stack is empty, the condition is known as stack underflow. So if stack is empty, we return null. Else part, we return the element present at top. So else return list of top. During the peak operations, we can't be able to change the value of top, which because it will only return the value which is present in the top without deleting the content. Next, we are writing a method which is named as display to display all the values which are present in the stack. First, we display the value of top. After that, by using a for loop, we display all the elements which are present in the stack, starting from zero till top. Top is a pointer which indicates the topmost element which is currently present in the stack. So from zero till top, we display all the element present in the stack. In the main method, in order to test the user created the stack, we create first an object. We pass the parameter value as five. So maximum number of element that can get stored into the stack is five. We create an infinite while loop. and displayed user choice for stack operations. Like one for push operation, two for pop, and three for peak operation, and four is to exit the program. The value of choice has been taken in the variable ch. 
We write the logic for performing different operations depending on the value of CH by using a switch case block. So when CH value is one in the case block, we have to perform here push operations. So first we take an integer value from the user. The integer value has been taken in a variable which is named as val. And we call the method push by using the object of the stack which is obj. So we write obj dot push of val. So val will get pushed into the stack if there is empty space in the stack. In case two, we have to perform the pop operations. The pop operations can be directly called by using the method pop. Case three is used to perform the peak operation. So we call peak function. Peak operations will return what is the value which is currently present in the top place of the stack. So return value will get stored in val. So if it is not null, it returns null if the stack is empty. If it is not null, we display the top element of the stack. We can display the value which is stored in the variable val. Case four is to exit the program. Inside the infinite while loop, performing each operations, we call the method display. So current element which are present in the stack will get displayed. So we call obj.display. The loop will keep on repeating with different choices, one, two, three. When the user enters the choice as four, it will stop the execution of the program. So each time it performs different operations like push, pop, and peak, it also called the method display. In the display method, we are displaying the value of top and all the elements which are present in the stack from zero till the position top. Execute and see the program output. When the user enters the choices one, it allows to push some integer numbers into the stack. If the choice is two, it allowed to pop. So if the stack is empty and still user try to pop, it say that the stack is under flow. Once the stack is full and we try to insert, we try to push more element into the stack. See that the stack is overflow. So new element won't be able to push into the stack. Thank you for watching this tutorial.